Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Now, this shear uh, should have been uh, shared with you a few weeks ago when I did live fish food. However, I keep getting this thing wrong. So, I opted to try again. All right, so here is what I have. I have some oatmeal and i have uh i i have some oatmeal right and i am going to be cooking it right, a small amount just to show you what i'm doing right i cook it uh but first of all i throw it into a bowl and i you know put a little water in it mix it around ensure that everything is you know evenly I call it now distributed in the in the bowl and um that would be for a while uh some persons will probably consume it like that then i place it into a pot of water cold water right and uh after doing that i'll stir it around a little bit and it will be on the stove um you know cooking for a while it it it, it, it will get thick the water will be be out right uh in the sense that it, it the water will be dried out for a bit yeah and um the, the the oatmeal itself will get thick but it will be cooked okay now uh this is the oatmeal that i use you can use any brand that exists uh where you're at now as the oatmeal is cooked you realize that and and, and left for cool you realize that it, it gets thick right now what i did was to leave it out in the open to get cool for a bit because i can't use it when it is warm right right and i place it in the bottle about uh less than half right i place all the oatmeal there it's it's cool and it's thick rich um good source of meal all right so what i did also was to get a piece of potato place it into uh one of my wife's uh flower pot outside and in the middle here is supposed to be rattling uh should i say it's supposed to be soft when i should be able to scrape it out and place it into um the the oatmeal right there i would actually get the the um the, the oh, let's call it bacteria or the the culture microworm culture that is necessary okay what i did was to actually place the potato into a small container um with potted soil planted soil right and place some water on it and the entire potato actually ended up being soft just like i want how i wanted the middle to be so uh, i worked with it i took a spoon and i actually um took out the 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 the, the, the well this is potato with dirt right so I, I i wanted the potato itself i never wanted the dirt to go into the mix uh however it, if it does go into the mix nothing wrong with that right so the the starter culture would be in the potato the soft mushy cup potato that has been rot in the soil all right so after all of that what i did i added about a half teaspoon of uh baker's yeast into the mix right after adding a half teaspoon into the mix i stirred it around a little bit and then i took a paper towel right and i placed on the top of it all right and i left it outside for a little bit all right so so after we are an I average of about probably about six or seven days uh it will take a little longer than if you would let's say use the microworm um egg that you might be like you might purchase at the store it will take a longer period of time for you to actually see the microworms um uh at the sides going up now i just added a few more uh cooked uh oatmeal in the bottle so that's the reason why it is like that right but before um you could see a few microworms coming up at the side but i decided it, the, the bottle was about here and i added more so um that should actually give them a little bit more food and i should be okay i can use this to actually feed my 
jack them see babies right so it will stay out here on my veranda where it is much cooler than inside and eventually i'll see the micro rooms at the side what i'll use at the end is uh q-tips so as to get the micro rooms at the side and actually just rinse off the q-tips in the uh either aquarium or a pond or whatever i have my baby fish in and this should be a nutritious uh, supplement for my fish as it provides uh, needed protein for their speedy growth right notice that I have actually placed a piece of uh, table towel uh, should I say yeah uh, table towel uh, that is actually um, held on firm to the bottle top uh, with some elastic bands now when I just did it I realized that I saw some fruit flies in it, but fruit flies, uh, they will not be much bother to the micro worms. It's just that the, the whole settings will look a little nasty. So if that do happen to you, you will realize that, um, you know, it, it, it looks a little nasty. You can probably open the, the top, allow the fruit flies to come out and you just keep feeding them. Uh, as soon as you see like here getting a little light right you see here getting a little light and the population of the of the micro at the side falling you just cook some oatmeal and place it in there and this can be fish food for months right okay thank you very much for stopping by have a wonderful day peace out bless up